do you believe that happiness is a choice or an event that happens? This is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome in Business and Life coach, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to create your own happiness. Most of us believe that happiness is an event. However, it is more a state of mind. Happiness is not based on how much you have, how much you achieve, or how many degrees you have. Happiness is a state of mind that is always with you at your choosing. While it is very difficult to be happy all of the time, you can create little pieces of happy throughout your day and throughout your life, giving you a feeling of generalized happiness. In order to be happy, there is not one thing you need to do or one thing you need to have. Creating your own happy means to simply choose it. Happiness is a choice and is there for you to choose at any moment. Now, I know this sounds easier said than done, but stay with me and I'll go into this a little deeper. First, you need to make a conscious choice to feel happy. Think about what happy feels like. Then focus on those events and times when you felt blissfully happy. Recall those memories. Feel them. Remember how you felt and feel it again in this moment. You see, by recalling fond memories in a moment when you are angry or sad is a great way to pull yourself out of a dark place. I did this when I was in the rehabilitation hospital after my accident and was feeling sorry for myself. I would stop my pity party and think about my friends, my family, my fiance, and soon I was my smiling self again. A caveat though, this exercise doesn't work as well if you've let the pity party go on for too long. In those cases, it is best to remove yourself from whatever is triggering you and go to someplace else that helps you feel differently. Walking is great for this, especially if you have someplace pretty to walk. But if walking is not an option, like it is for me right now, you can do something else. As long as it helps you clear the clutter from your mind. Meditation works for some. Cleaning around the house has helped me at times. Or work on a project that uses your hands, such as cooking or crafting or gardening. Once you've calmed down, then you can do the memory exercise and recall a time when you were truly satisfied and blissful. Hold on to that and let the upsetting situation dissipate further, knowing that this too shall pass. Now here's a fun one. Did you know that by simply smiling and laughing, according to some research, it's good for your health? Apparently, endorphins are released when you smile or laugh, regardless of the emotion you're feeling. So go ahead, have a belly laugh and a good chuckle, <laughs> and smile even though you may not really feel like it at the moment. It will do your body and your mind a world of good. Another great way to increase your happiness is to look for things in every situation to be grateful for, even if it is a major challenge. For example, as I've mentioned before, I was in a car accident a few months ago. That's why I'm missing a few teeth here. I could bemoan all the disruption to my life that accident has caused, and believe me, it has caused quite a few. But I choose to be grateful instead. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to have my mind intact. I'm grateful that I'm now forced to get my nose and teeth fixed, something I've been thinking about doing for years but never got around to. Hey, I'm looking on the bright side. You have to look for the silver lining. Every dark cloud has one. Keep looking for the details in every situation that will make you smile. Each small moment of happiness will add up. What you focus on expands. So why not focus on being happy? This is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome in Business and Life Coach, signing off. Ciao.